the real goal in meditation is the coming back phase. It is 2.22 p.m. on, where are we at, man? We're at March 8th, 2019. I just tried out Sam Harris's, a preview of Sam Harris's app through Tim Ferriss's episode that he was on. And I really, for one, I just really liked the twist he was putting on things. It was almost like an education during the meditation, which I always appreciate because there's much more for me to grow in that area. Um, for me, I find that the most important part of meditation is actually just sitting down or in my case, laying down because I like to be as lazy and relaxed as possible during. Honestly, if I even fall asleep, who fucking cares? The whole point is to try to, for me at least, to get closer to peace and to calm my mood a little bit. And I can feel, I could, the reason I decided to meditate, and I was actually just like in the podcast, he, he talked for quite a bit and then he, uh, he said, okay, you could probably not listen to this part if you're working out or in the kitchen or whatever, multitasking, driving, whatever. So I just paused it and left it until I needed a meditation. And this is like a couple of weeks ago or whatever. And I just had the opportunity to, cause I could feel, I was like, oh God, I'm not grounded at all right now. I am, my mood is fading and I just, you, you just start to know if you're an experienced enough meditator. I feel like I'm still a rookie, but anyways, you can start to feel when you when you really need a meditation, and I really did need a need a meditation today, and uh, I'm feeling good, much more grounded, much more calm, and peaceful than I was previously, and um, so during my meditation, though, I was just aware of first off, it's so key to just not judge yourself, and I think that the hardest part for me when I was first starting to meditate was and by the way i am not in a habit at all of meditating right now but for i've been meditating on and off for a, th a few years now and the hardest part for me at the beginning of my meditation journey was self-judgment and hearing people like kevin rose and tim ferris talk about how quote unquote shitty they are at meditation meaning there is thoughts just flooding throughout their meditation sessions. That gave me a lot of hope that I was not awful at, <laughs> at meditation. And another key thing that uh, a good way of not medit or not judging myself during meditation is to set the rules up so I can win. Tim Ferriss has a beautiful way he does this, where he sits down, and if he can just sit down and meditate, that's the win. And I might be getting that a little bit incorrectly, but uh, so like bit, thoughts are a fucking part of meditation. Like they're the, the, and I've heard, I think Tim also talk about this in other places where it's like the real goal in meditation is the coming back phase. So when you veer out into the highway of thoughts, it's, taking that step to return back to center, return back to peace, um, and focus on the breath again. I think that's, that's the real goal in there. And I agree with what they're saying with that. Um, for me though, like going back to what I'd meditate for, I like just laying down, taking a step back from a third perspective and being able to see things from a higher level if you will and just observing self and realizing like i real i was paying attention and i've been thinking a lot recently about how many settings i participate in my mind from the past so things like um i used to work at this place called san francisco's when i was younger and that was a Almost, you could think of it like a an Italian-ish restaurant in my hometown. And that I spend so much time on my mind in that place, it's ridiculous. Like I use it as a, because I don't know if you notice this, but you can start to like craft 
when you're crafting scenes in your brain, you can start to use past settings. And I find like, I think about certain places and certain um, areas I've been. Um, another common one I think of is Downsview Park in Toronto. And my Nana's house from when I was a child. I also think of Call of Duty maps because I spent such a large percentage of my teenage years going hard on YouTube, um, and specifically the gaming space. So I spent a lot of time on Xbox. Um, I think it was like three plus months total on only just Modern Warfare 2. So I have so many Modern Warfare 2 maps in my brain, it's, it's scary. But uh, that is part of, like that's, by the way, how important it is to make sure you are surrounding yourself with what you want to become and how you want to grow to everything because and like where you are projecting your future to be and all that jazz things to raise you and grow you grow you because we spend so much time of that in our in our mind and um it's been said that the what you think about the most you become um earl nightingale said the stranger secret is you become what you think about most of the time and i agree with that to a point it only properly works in my opinion if the belief is correct there and because it can work against you if you're thinking about something that you don't believe in but uh where am i going with this i'm going let's get, get back to meditation real quick um and the the idea of spending time in different places so like i i was noticing how much time i spent or i spend it on a daily basis thinking useless things and feeling useless emotions it's scary how shitty of investors 99.9 percent .9 of the world is at this and i know i'm definitely not alone for this but uh, i have so much to grow in that area and it's uh i've been forcing myself to that sounds so painful forcing myself to i've been playing if you will with practicing visualization to try to strengthen this ability because I am or strengthen this skill however you want to think about it because um it's so paramount what we put in our brains and how we think and the images we are crafting up in our brain and what we're thinking about because if we're not if we're just aimlessly like using it and leaving it to chance if you will I don't think we're going to make a very good return on investment. Uh, I've, I've heard back in the day that the higher you perform, the less thoughts you think. And I think that comes from a repetition based, not a you're thinking less thoughts. You're just thinking more of the same thoughts of the future as well as the present. And you're not spending your time in the past. I, For me, I notice how much time I spend thinking about the past and, and then... I ask myself, why haven't I created what I want in the future? So it, I think that's a big awareness point right there um, to pay attention and not spend so much time thinking about the past because it's the past. It's not like learn from it. Yes, observe it, but then move the fuck on and pay attention to your present and your future. And that's not to say I don't pay attention to my present or future, but I just think I spend too much time in the past subconsciously. And it has to change because it's a very weak ROI on my thought energy and time energy. And it's not really like doing me much good. So yeah. Um, what else did I want to say? I felt like there was more I wanted to cover. But anyways, I, uh, I encourage you to not judge yourself. I encourage you to think more of the future and be more purposeful with your your thoughts and if you are meditating don't judge yourself or even if you aren't meditating you're just in regular day life you're going to think a lot of thoughts try not to identify with the thoughts like don't believe everything you're thinking don't think that every thought you're having is coming from you because i think some pretty fucking weird things and i know that not i'm not creating these weird ass thoughts so um it's a just be cautious of that and know that your ego 
can be a large percentage of your thoughts. And I think that ego might actually be 100% of your thoughts. Not sure. Anyways, I have more to research on that, but uh, and see what someone like Eckhart Tolle would say. And that's another great thing. So recommendation, action steps, power of now, incredible if you want to judge yourself less and work on more in presence and that type of aspect of things. Meditation, I'm enjoying Sam Harris's uh, previews so far. I can't give a 100% recommendation, but this is looking good so far. Um, and yeah, that's good enough for now, I think. Um, cool. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> Anyways, I, I hope this brought a little bit, va bit of value and kind of just rant or going off on nothing, but I have, uh, I like to, I'm doing a good job of capturing my thoughts right now on a daily basis. It seems like I'm recording, I think I'm in the past 14 days I've recorded 12 out of 14 and I'm, it's not even on my power list, which is really cool when I make progress in areas like this without actually making it a daily habit or whatever. So it's just happening because it feels fucking right. So if you thought this might be valuable for someone and you think you could or you think it could help them please do me a favor share it with them and share it with a friend because i would love that and i would love that if this message could help someone that would be incredible because this is why i'm doing this so that and documenting well that is the whole point of documenting long term is to help a shit ton of people and have a massive Massive impact. Anyways, that is enough for now. I tried to wrap up two minutes ago and it kind of ended up in a, a new thing. My name is Josh Moxie and I appreciate you watching and listening and I will catch you later.